I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Do we need the Lord's Supper to be saved? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love our videos, like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications. You hear something? And donate. Your tax-deductible gift, support.higherthings.org, give there. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about the gospel, keeps us a rolling. And we need your gift in this, this these times. Please, please, please give today. So let's sort of think about it. We're in a situation where we can't have the Lord's Supper. It's like we're forced in some sort of fast that's not even cool. A non-biblical one. A Eucharistic fast? Never happened before. Never happened since. We're going to have the Lord's Supper soon, but when? Are we okay? Should we? How can we? Are we saved by the Lord's Supper? Well, a couple of things need to be sort of discussed as we go about this. Um, the Lord's Supper... Oops. Oops. Only Jesus saves. Now, only faith in Christ saves. Faith, which holds fast to the gifts, saves. Works don't save. The work of believing doesn't save. The work of being baptized doesn't save. The work of eating the Lord's Supper doesn't save. Works don't save. Only faith saves, which means only Jesus saves. That's the, 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 the first point to... Um, um, that's the first part to uh, to think about. The second point to think about is if you don't desire the Lord's Supper, you need to hear how important the Lord's Supper is. Luther says that if you want the forgiveness of sins, you don't go to the cross. Um, there you will find your forgiveness won, but not delivered. Um, if you want the forgiveness of sins, you go to the sacrament. There you will find what was won for you on the cross delivered to you in the word, the, uh, the, uh, the bread and the wine. So, two things. First, unable to get to the Lord's Supper, an emergency. There's no such thing as an emergency Lord's Supper. Faith alone saves. But I really am hungry for the Lord's Supper. I am too. What do I do? Read your scriptures. Read the word. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. But does this mean I should despise the sacrament? Should I just not, not go to it? Well, Let's check to see whether or not we have a, a beating heart here. Is our heart beating? If our heart is beating, um, then we we need Jesus. We need the forgiveness of sins. We need the gifts. But um, yes, I have a Curious George shirt on. But the um, I, f I find that things that tormented me in my youth are best embraced. Embrace your fears rather than sort of, anyway. The best thing to do, we have to law gospel this. If you can't have the Lord's Supper, it's the comfort is that the, the Lord's Supper, the work of it doesn't save you. If you despise the Lord's Supper, you need to check to see whether or not you have a pulse and your heart's beating because you most definitely need this Lord's Supper. Um, Luther's, uh, somebody asked Luther one of the worst questions how often do you need to take the Lord's Supper? He said, uh, a person who doesn't take the Lord's Supper once a quarter isn't a Christian, um, should wonder whether they're a Christian or not. And that created a universe in the um, early American Lutheran um, stuff where people were only having the Lord's Supper once a quarter. Um, in these times where we can't have the Lord's Supper, where we can't gather together, the thing to remember is the word of God. Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word. The implanted word is able to say because it delivers Jesus. When things get back going again, live, breathe, and have your life from the sacrament. I hope this helps. Remember, all of this is based on the scripture that Jesus alone saves, not the works that we do, not the, the, the sacraments in and of themselves. The sacraments save because they deliver Christ. Baptism saves because it delivers Christ. The Lord's Supper saves because it delivers Christ. But the idea that you need or else the Lord's Supper, 
is simply not scriptural. Now, does that mean that I can despise the Lord's Supper and not come to it? Well, he does say, as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. So you should want to eat this bread and drink this cup. But our little quarantine, you'll be just fine. And then the last thing, if you find yourself like me, hungry for the body and blood of Jesus, then pick up the phone and call your pastor and ask him to meet you. It's really that simple. If you can go to the pharmacy, you can go to the to get the Lord's Supper. If you can go to the Wally World, you can get to the Lord's Supper. And this is everybody of all ages. Now, if you are locked in and you are one of those endangered people, I'm not talking to you. But if you're out and about, even if it's just getting food, why not give and get the medicine of immortality, the forgiveness of sins delivered to you in the sacrament? Well, it seems like you've talked out of both of your sides of your mouth. Well, no, I've actually talked out of the law and the gospel. Uh, only Jesus saves, not any works that I do. The gospel, the Lord's Supper delivers the very faith which trusts um, the salvation delivered one on the cross. Or as Luther says, what was one on the cross is delivered in the bread and the wine. I'm glad we could talk about this. And the, and the biggest thing is don't let your heart be troubled. Trust in Jesus. Above all things, trust in the forgiveness of sins. Won by Jesus on the cross. I'm Pastor George Borkart. Sleeping pooch. And this has been another Higher Things video short.